What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fake Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be trying the new flavor of the C4 WWE uh, energy drink. Now I am a big fan of energy drinks. I would consider myself an energy drink connoisseur and this is not the first WWE C4 branded energy drink. In fact, we've already done a taste test video over on the YouTube. You can go back and check it out. I'll actually link it in this video so you can find it very easily where we tasted the berry power bomb which is the red can and the ruthless raspberry which is the blue can um honestly i wasn't overly impressed with them uh there's better c4 energies in my opinion uh but i wasn't gonna pass up the opportunity to try this new one which is nectarine guava knockout uh it's like an orange label one zero sugar like all the other ones I love that the C4 is in the vein of the WWE Championship, almost like the diamonds encrusted in it. Same thing with the side label here. Then, now, forever together. Very, very cool. You know, it's like combining two of my favorite things into one. I love going to the gym. I love energy drinks. And I love the WWE, obviously. So, uh, we're going to check this out. But we're going to talk about a little bit. First of all, this is the TriStim Experience. Uh... It says buckle up 300 milligrams caffeine plus teacrine and dynamine, which I don't know what they are, uh, is the ultimate triple threat. Supercharged energy, C4 ultimate energy is a supercharged to go hard, just like you crack one open and go after it. Now these are zero calories right there. All right. Uh, carbonated water, taurine, but all, all the ingredients are right there. I'm not worried about it. Uh, Oh, right here. Tea cream doesn't t doesn't tell you what it is or what it does. Um, so I'll look that up later. I'm not really worried about it. We all put tons of things in our body all the time, right? Uh, in moderation, it is what it is, right? I'm not drinking these all day, every day. So, but if you look at the can, you'll notice that there's just a bunch of WWE logos in the background. I just noticed that now. I didn't even realize that on the old cans. And it is on them. Just totally branded WWE style. Now, this is Nectarine Guava Knockout. Um, it's funny because the place that I bought this, the guy was swearing that a Nectarine is a Clementine. Uh, it's not even close. It is not even in the orange family. Uh, a Nectarine is actually just a peach. It's a fuzzless peach. So if you like oranges and Clementines and you get this expecting orange, taste uh you're not gonna get it it's gonna be like a peach flavored uh one plus the uh the orange label would kind of trick you too right you'd be like nectarine orange sounds like clementine uh nectars okay yeah, it's got to be orange flavored but no uh now if it is orange flavored that would mean that c4 doesn't know their fruits so we're gonna crack this open you love that sound listen the hiss we love to hear the hiss right yeah, totally peach. Just smelling this, it smells like peach rings, like those little gummies that we had as kids. So it's absolutely nectarine is a fuzzless peach. There's no doubt about it. They know their fruits now. All right, I'm going to do it the, uh, the product placement way. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see the C4 as I take the sip. If I had to choose between the three, right off the bat, I'm going to, I'm going to pick the Nectarine Guava. Um, I didn't think that the Berry Power Bomb was C4's best berry flavored, uh, energy drink. And I didn't think that the blue Ruthless Raspberry was the best raspberry flavored, uh, blue Raz flavored, uh, C4 energy drink. This though, this is a good peach flavored drink. If you like peach flavored things, because you get a little hint of the guava at the end. So it's like the peach flavor, that nectarine flavor, then the guava, and then you get the lasting peach flavor. It's kind of like an aftertaste that you keep on there. Very fresh. I could see this being great on like a summer day. You know, you're, you're getting in the car with your buddies. You're about to go down to the beach. You know, you, you stop at a Wawa if you're from the East Coast. And uh, you pick up one of these bad boys and you energize for the water. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. This is, if you ask me, 100%, this is the best um, WWE branded C4 energy drink. Now, 
That said, if you want great energy drinks, my pick for my favorite energy drink is a brand called Gorilla Mind. Black Cherry Vanilla, excellent. The Kiwi, excellent. I mean, they're so good. The Arctic Snow, so good. C4 is definitely a close second. I do love the black label ones, which is essentially what the WWE goes under, but this is up there. Does have an aftertaste. After you finish drinking, I can tell you right now, you're going to have peach all up in your mouth, but is that the worst thing? No. It's good. I like it. Um, so, if you watch the old video of the taste test on these, the reviews, I, I, I put Ruthless Raspberry as being better than the Berry Power Bomb. So initially I had Ruthless Raspberry in first place, the Berry Power Bomb in second place, but now we have the Nectarine, and that's going to be first place. So, Nectarine is the best. Then I would go Ruthless Raspberry, and then I would go Berry Power Prime. The funny thing about this is my favorite flavor of drinks, fruits, juices, things like that, is always berry or fruit punch, things like that, right? That's how just not good this is. Man, I'm bourbon. I'm not even a big Blue Raspberry fan, but this was a very good Blue Raspberry for what it was. Uh, but I am a peach man. I do love the peach. And uh, Nectarine Guava, this is the one. Fuzzless Peach Guava. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, I got to love the fact that WWE is getting in bed with C4. Here's the other funny thing. Um, when they first came out with uh, these, I had them. And then a couple months later, Vince McMahon was going through his whole um, ordeal with the accusations. He's currently, you know, being investigated and such like that. And at the time, they also had a C4 Energy WWE pre-workout. I went into GNC one day uh, asking if I could get one where they are. And the guy said um, they, they discontinued it because of the uh, Vince McMahon allegations. And I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Why would they cancel the pre-workout but then continue to make energy drinks? Someone doesn't have their information correct. So I got to imagine that if they're going to continue to make the pre-workout, it's still coming. Or maybe they just don't want to do WWE pre-workout. But it has nothing to do with Vince McMahon because he has nothing to do with the company anymore. And if it had anything to do with Vince McMahon, they would stop making the energy, energy drinks too. So I don't know what the guy's talking about. But Nectarine Guava, definitely number one in the WWE series. I would give this honestly a solid... 7.2 out of 10 as far as energy drink flavor. Very good, very enjoyable, very refreshing. Um, not going to finish this right now, so I don't know how it's going to do energy-wise, but 300 milligrams caffeine is 300 milligrams caffeine, so. There it is, so hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've tried any of these C4 energy drinks, comment below. Let me know what you think of them and how you would rank the three. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia available now on Amazon.com. Check out Case Fresh Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Fig Heel and the Fuzzless Peach. Mm. We are out. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.